Challenge Rift 51, thank y'all for tuning in. Now, before we begin, before we get down and dirty with this week's Challenge Rift, please take careful note that we are two days from starting the brand new season, season 14. I got a text message. And if you're playing season 14, if you're planning on playing through the season, make sure that you complete this Challenge Rift after the season has already began. So wait two days, complete the challenge rift, and then you can claim your rewards in the brand new season. It'll give you a bit of a material boost. Personally, when I play a season, I play so damn much, these materials aren't gonna be too useful to me, but for people that don't play with hardcore hours to spare, then it'll definitely be useful to you. So please just take note that if you're planning on playing season 14, complete this challenge rift after it's already began, and I'm taking one for the team, baby. I'm sacrificing my materials. I don't care. I'm here to do it all for you all, so you can all do it as quickly as possible, get those rewards, and play through your seasons. Let's have a look at this necromancer. All right, so we'll click on the soul mirror here. Let's have a look what we're dealing with. We are playing with the Rathmar's full six-piece set. So having a look at the set bonuses first for two pieces. Your minions have a chance to reduce the cooldown of Army of the Dead by one second each time they deal damage. For the four set bonus, you get... You gain 1% damage reduction for 15 seconds each time one of your minions deals damage, max 50 stats. Definitely useful there. For 6 pieces, each active skeletal mage increases the damage of your minions and army of the dead by 1000% up to a max of 4 thousand huge huge damage bonus there we're going to definitely be using skeletal mages as we play through here let's have a look at some of the other gear here the johnstone we're not even using land of the dead so it doesn't really apply to us ancient path and defenders each uh, stunned enemy within 25 yards reduces damage taken definitely pretty handy there Crown's buff belt just increases our movement speed a little bit there. Rachel's ring of larceny. We're not going to be really fearing enemies, so that's not really going to be much help to us there. The circle of Najul's evolve is definitely super handy. What you get here is when you raise a, a skeletal mage, you actually raise two at once instead of just a single one. So we're going to get to a maximum of 10 skeletal mages rather easily here. Super helpful there. Absolutely awesome ring to have. The Butcher's Sickle, not really that useful there. Lost Time, your cold skills reduce the movement speed of enemies by 30%. In addition, your movement speed is increased by 8% for 5 seconds, maximum 5 stacks. Again, unfortunately, no cold skills being used here. So this person definitely hasn't taken his time to run through the items and make sure that it's actually compatible with the skills there. So moving on into Canice Cube here. Scythe of the Cycle provides us with an awesome legendary stat there. Your secondary skills deal 400% additional damage while bone armor is active, but reduce the remaining duration of bone armor by four seconds. So keeping up bone armor is going to increase that skeletal mage damage by 400% and we're always going to make sure that bone armor is active don't you worry about that Tasker and Theo increases the attack speed of our pets by 50% convention of elements for elemental damage now skills bone spikes skeletal mage corpse lance command golem command skeletons bone armor the passives stand alone Rathmus Shield, Extended Servitude, and Grizzly Tribute. Now this is very, very, very easy. Nobody is going to have any time issues with this Challenge Rift. All you have to do is make sure as soon as you get in there, the first pack you come across, activate your Bone Armor. Keep an eye on it. As soon as Bone Armor is up, make sure you reactivate it. Make sure that Bone Armor is active. Then you want to start casting your Skeletal Mages. Use your Command Skeletons, and then use Bone Spikes whenever you're running out of of your essence there as soon as you're out of essence do a few bone spikes keep up your skeletal mages make sure that bone armor is active and that's pretty much all you need to worry about even if you forget to use command skeletons it's fine you're going to be doing so much damage it's not funny it's really not going to be challenging for you to beat the time at all so in addition we've also got corpse lance which once there's corpses on the floor we can use that but really you're not going to need that you can just keep progressing through this challenge rift just make sure make sure that you're maintaining your bone armor just keep casting skeletal mages you get a maximum of 10 and you won't even really need to, to use this at all maybe use it when you come across elite packs and same goes for the command golem when you come across an elite pack aim for that elite pack and use that command golem it'll give you some extra damage there 
but you're not going to have any trouble either way. The most important part is make sure that your bone armor is always active as soon as the cooldown is over, reactivate it. Just make sure you've always got bone armor stacks and then just make sure that you keep using skeletal mages. You make sure that you have 10 summoned at all times. That's your maximum. And like I mentioned, bone spikes to regenerate that essence if you start running out. And that's pretty much all you gotta do. Focus on those three skills. Have fun with the other three if you want. It'll give a bit of a boost. And let's go and do this together. Here's to season 14. We are in. Wanna get that bone armor up straight away. Cast a few skeletal mages, command skeletons, and watch shit die. And I don't like dilly-dallying too much, I like to keep on moving. The aim here is to get to the two pylons that are just a bit further up on the map here. But along the way, I like to kill some trash. And you'll just see that timer just moving so so wonderfully quick. We're just gonna... We're making good time already. I don't know what the original runner was doing dilly-dallying, but... We're running through pretty quickly. So once you get this pylon, I like to hightail it all the way to the damage increasing pylon over here. So that way things just drop dead like nothing. Watch this. You just run around and things just will obliterate. Ah, I got the brick wall there. Or the magical wall. But there, look, elite pack, bang, melted, gone. Just melted through them like nothing. Look at the timer. It's ridiculous how much time we're saving already. Alternatively, you could move um, down the map and get those pylons the other way, and that way you won't have to backtrack like I am now. I'm backtracking a little bit, but hey, look at the time, mate. It speaks for itself. We're saving huge amounts of time. And unless you're trying to get like some sort of uh, top five world ranking, it's not really going to matter. You're definitely going to get your materials, and you're going to start off strong to in season 14. And keep on moving. And there's a different level here. I'll go up to floor two. Now, you, another option is you can kill some more trash, whereas I'm kind of running through a lot quicker and just focusing on the elites here. It's totally up to you. You can definitely kill more trash and you'll probably have uh, less enemies to kill on floor two if we killed some more trash there. But anyway, you just got to try different things. Like I said, depends what your goal is, elite here. So don't forget that elite at the top there that we just killed. And make sure you keep your bone armor up and just be careful because you can take a lot of damage. It's a little bit squishy, it's a little bit squishy, but you just can't stay, you can't stand in elemental damage. Avoid that shit and you'll be fine. Keep on moving. And keep those skeletal mages up, like I keep telling you. Run out of essence, no problem. Just use your bone spikes. No. And this should hopefully be the last pack that we kill. And we get the Rift Guardian. So we've saved huge amounts of time. It's not even halfway through. Look at that. Killing it. Alright, we might have to kill another pack here. I think there's another elite cut. Yeah, here we go. Elite pack coming up. So if we kill just some more mobs along the way, some more trash, would have summoned the Rift Guardian a lot quicker. But still, we've killed it. And he's really easy, as long as he doesn't hit you. He can one-shot you, so be careful with the Rift Guardian. But cha-ching, cha-ching, Bannock 13 has done it again. So yes, before people start commenting saying I'm an absolute moron and an idiot for doing this week's challenge rift before the season starts, it's because I'm not greedy. I'm not thinking about myself. I'm not selfish. I've done this video for everybody and I play seasons so damn much that it's really not going to matter. I'm going to farm those materials in no time. So for me, I'm not fussed. I am a YouTube video maker, so that's why I chose to do this challenge rift regardless, and I want you all to benefit from cashing in those reward caches once the season starts. So, like I said, don't do this challenge rift until the season actually begins in a couple days time. At least now you know how to do it. Come back, rewatch my video, and you can just do it really quickly, and then you can just, you know, keep playing your seasons. Your creepy uncle Bannock 13 is always here to help, and it's always about you. Not me, because I love you all. If you love me too, don't forget to subscribe.